Now we look at a colorful exhibition fusing two popular African-American art forms, jazz and quilts in honor of Black History Month. Textural Rhythms at San Francisco's Museum of the African Diaspora features some of the biggest names in African-American quilting, including a leading artist from the Bay Area. So this is uh, what's known as free motion quilting. When you don't use a pattern, I just stitch it as I think of something to put in it. With this piece, I've used African prints. This is painted African fabric, and this is mud cloth. Marion Coleman is one of the best quilters uh, in the Bay Area at the very least, but, but probably nationally. She's typical in that she started out um, quilting on weekends, in the evening, and found herself increasingly passionate about what she could do with quilts. She responds to calls for exhibits by wanting to tell the African-American story. So this piece I'm working on, documenting the lives of African-American nurses. They were oftentimes not allowed to work in integrated hospitals, so they had their own nursing association. I like collecting the fabrics and thinking about what I'm going to do with it. I started off being a very light stitcher, and the more I quilt, the more stitches I put on. And it creates the kind of texture that you would if you were like, I think, putting lots of paint on something. You know, you can feel it, you can see it. It has a lot of movement in it. This is my jazz quilt about artist Dee Dee Bridgewater. I call this one Sisters. Now this I call Petroleum World. Over the past two decades, Marion has used an incredible range of mixed media to create not just narrative quilts, but also abstract wall hangings, larger-than-life portraits, and grand-scale public art commissions. Once she has a theme in mind, there's no end to the directions her quilts may take. One of the ways of thinking about improvisation within quilting tradition is to say that it's an impulse that's not linked to a formula or a prescription. It doesn't mean that it lacks discipline. It doesn't mean that it lacks know-how. It's just an impulse towards creativity and wanting to tell the story in an unanticipated way. I'll add uh, yarn shells, probably something that'll make some sound, some, something like buttons or something like that. That spontaneous approach is at the heart of textural rhythms at San Francisco's Museum of the African Diaspora. Exhibit curator Carolyn Maslumi challenged quilters to riff on another improvisational art form, jazz. Well, textual rhythms, we were uh, asked to create pieces about our interpretation of jazz. And so I didn't use jazz artist in my piece. I talked about the jazz mood. So Saturday Night Rhythms is really about people out for Saturday night enjoying the rhythms and sounds of the time. You see them dressed up, feeling cheerful. And I've used family members for the figures in the piece. My mother is wearing the white dress, looking really sassy. She reminded me of a jazz singer. This is a very significant uh, exhibit. The best African-American quilters probably in the world are represented in this. Developing a series of quilts about jazz is showing the parallels between the two. They're both forms uh, known for improvisation. Um, there's not a definite plan. Uh, you may start here and go to there. You see figures, uh, you see Dixieland style, New Orleans style jazz, you have uh, Miles Davis, you know, in his style. And so you'll see the variation in sizes and colors and techniques uh, showing the vibrancy of the two art forms. African Americans have used quilts to tell stories for at least a hundred years. 
Uh, the first known ones are from a quilter named Harriet Powers, who was a fiercely religious woman. And the only outlet that she had in the 1890s for expressing her faith was through her quilts. She is what I would call the true godmother of us all in terms of doing narrative work. In the 1950s, 60s, particularly the 70s, more and more women are coming to quilting for the aesthetic impulse that it satisfies for them. And we be begin the development of a real art quilt tradition at that time. I think patrons really should take advantage of the opportunity to look at the quilts from multiple angles. When you step the furthest back from the quilt, you'll get the big picture, the story the quilter was trying to tell, and the way in which it's a balanced piece of art. The closer you get, you'll be able to see the attention to detail, and it increases your respect of what that quilter has accomplished. Sometimes I become so attached to some pieces that I can't sell them, and I decide that I have to keep them for myself. Uh, I've been feeling that way about Saturday Night Rhythms. The person wanted to buy it right away, but the more I look at it, the more I think I may not be able to do that. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Marion Coleman will give quilting workshops in March at the Museum of the African Diaspora. They're among the many cultural activities surrounding the Textural Rhythms exhibit, which runs through April 24th.